fuck? Shut the fuck up. Fix it or Are no. you going to do I anything know. right? Or is everyone going to have to fix your you for you all the goddamn it. time? Huh? Get Just fix the hose, you idiot. Then give me the wrench. I'm sorry, who is in charge of who? Fred's here? in charge of me. You ain't the boss. Oh, I'm not the I, foreman? The how much I do you really care about your feelings and touchy feely stuff like that? I want you to do a job. It's very simple. So I'm being touchy feely. Then please finish this conversation. Ugh, we're getting nowhere. Your integrity is such. Clark's a little too sensitive. The Todd Hoffman's crew was falling apart after his crew struggled to find any gold. This resulted in a massive argument between the crew members. Let's one of you's gotta stop. Let go of me now! Punch I'm gonna kill him no, right you now! Let me down! Hey, him. knock it off! Trey? Hey, Trey! One of you just stop! This argument was extremely intense and it was a struggle to cool down the situation. Unfortunately, things would only get worse. Come on! Stop! 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 Trey. Stop! Stop! Trey. Stop. Stop. Trey, please! And Trav! Walk, let's walk. Trav, let's walk! Let's walk! It's clear that both of these men have a short temper and exchange some more words to each other. Just take me home. I'll take you. I'll just pack my up and go. Fred and his crew had a rough time as one of their machines completely malfunctioned on them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys, shut down the plant. Fred, shut it down, bud. The crew attempted to fix these issues, but sadly, even more malfunctions starting occurring. My dam is having a whole bunch of issues, too. And it's just gushing straight through. Damn, bro, gosh dang it. I gotta see that. This frustrated this crew member significantly as he was being bossed around by everyone else. This results in a massive argument. John, shut the up. Fix it or no. Are you gonna do anything right? Or is everyone gonna have to fix your for you all the goddamn time? Huh? Just fix the hose, you idiot. Then give me the wrench. I'm sorry, who is in charge of who? Fred's here? in charge of me. You John was under a lot of fire after not being able to fix multiple issues. He then had this to say in response. Kendall, he ain't the boss. He's a freaking sit in the six by six douchebag. Donnie. After failing to inform anyone about missing his flight, holding up the entire mining process, Dave Turin argues with Clark James about his conduct as a member of the team. I did as I was driving the airport, mm -hmm. and I was driving around, I was watching my clock in my car. You know what? You, know, you didn't you? have the decency to call me and tell me you missed the flight. It was a situation I got myself into. I'm done. I'm I done. got myself I'm into I'm done. It. You don't listen I to me. My, I made a huge mistake, and I thought I was an hour early. Clark claimed that he missed his flight due to an error in reading the time. However, Dave did not buy this and went off on Clark. We're getting nowhere! Your integrity is such. Clark's a little too sensitive. The world's not revolving around him. The world, for me right now, revolves around this. Dave stated that Clark was being way too sensitive and left a sore tension between the two for the rest of the job. Thing thought out, but there's a generator outside the tent not running i've got fifty three thousand. parker was in a very rough deal with tony beats as tony beats would ultimately end up keeping an insane percentage of royalties making parker very upset i don't want to stop at six thousand ounces again this year but i'm gonna to have to if tony doesn't change this crazy deal i'm gonna go sit down with tony and see if he'll Parker then made the bold move of confronting Tony about the deal and hoping he would change it. It did not end well at all. Very many choices here. No, I think we'll nicely keep it the same. I'll take my chances. You signed the dotted line. You think you can find 6,000 ounces somewhere else? Well, I'm trying to be reasonable here mm -hmm. and find some 
middle ground. Like there is no reason that we can't. No matter what arguments Parker presented, Tony would not change his mind on the deal and ended in Parker doing something very shocking. In fact, canceled then. Perfect. Send that to me an email, would you please? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Screw it, I'm done. This left Parker extremely upset, and after this altercation finished, he said this in reflection. I bought ground. We've got tons of ground in mine. Parker was in a rush to find some gold before the winter season got started. As a result, multiple crew members started speeding up their jobs, causing potential hazards and ultimately an argument. You know, if we're not hauling ass, it's gonna run out. Holy Hey, slow the down. The speeding of the crew members led to a collision between two trucks and made Parker extremely upset and emotional. He then said this to the speeding crew. I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of the safety issue with driving high speed down here. I can't have somebody getting hurt here. No, for sure. There's been a couple of close calls just from what I've seen. So okay. we've just got to slow down, find a rhythm that works, I'm only going to have this conversation with you guys once. Sounds good. Parker and his crew were struggling significantly as Big Red was not making the progress Parker was expecting or what he needed. Though Big Red's just killing our numbers. A quarter of the way in, Parker should have 1,250 ounces, but there's only 987 in the jar. I'm pretty irritated. Parker then went in to go check and was horrified to see multiple mechanisms damaged and lashed out on Rick. We can't keep shutting down for little stupid Until it laying on the ground off the bank, I'm not going to worry about it. We need to be more worried about the gold totals falling off a cliff, not this kind of There's no gold. It's just a show all around. I don't know what to Rick Ness was understandably extremely upset after Parker lashed out on him. Determined to find more gold, Rick turned up the machine and was extremely hopeful. Increasing the yardage by 25% could deliver Rick another 25 ounces of gold by the end of the week. Some of this water is muddy as hell. Looks, I 